I calculated what would need to happen for the Netherlands to produce all of their energy through wind, solar and batteries. Later in this video, I will share my findings and how much it costs. In my last video, I talked about why the Dutch Green Party wants no nuclear energy in the Dutch energy system. Their plan would be to have primarily solar and wind, then use batteries when the sun doesn't shine and the wind doesn't blow. And when this is not enough, they talk about green hydrogen. I'm in the process of investigating their solution and comparing it with alternatives. Before we talk about green hydrogen, I'm curious, how far could you theoretically get with just wind, solar and batteries? Could this combination alone be enough for the Netherlands? How much more would need to be built? And to what extent does it fall short? You are watching Indecisive, the nuclear energy debate. Is wind, solar and green batteries enough for the Netherlands? When solar panels and wind turbines produce electricity and it is not all immediately needed, it is of course nice to be able to store this energy for later use, especially because quite often the wind doesn't blow and the sunlight doesn't reach the panels as much as desired. The German language even has a word for such periods, Dunkelflaute. One possible solution to this problem is to connect the energy grid across countries. So if there is a Dunkelflaute in one area, then the energy might still be able to be supplied through wind or solar from elsewhere. Although this is a step in a desired direction, it certainly does not solve the problem. Here's an article from one of the technical universities in the Netherlands saying, if Europe got more connected, the frequency of such Dunkelflaute would go from about a 6% to 3.5%. So it definitely helps, but the problem remains. So if you want to use just sun and wind, you kind of need to have a way to store your energy. There are many, many ways to store energy. Most of the stored energy in the world is in the form of hydropower. When the sun shines and the wind blows, you sometimes have more energy than needed. This surplus energy can then be used to pump water up a hill. And when you need energy later on again, you simply let it stream down, you just let gravity do its thing and place a turbine there that can capture the energy to produce electricity again. Whoop whoop! In all of the ways that we know of storing energy, a part of the energy is always lost in the process. That's why it is preferable to directly use the electricity when it is available. But that's not always possible, is it? So let's get back to reality. Oh, there is a tragedy because the Netherlands is more flat than a vegan pancake on a Sunday morning. There are no mountains to use hydropower. But funnily enough, once upon a time, there were plans to use hydropower underground, but in the end, it was deemed too expensive. Moving on, the biggest battery park in the Netherlands is the Buffalo Battery with a power of 25 megawatts and 48 megawatt hours in storage capacity. They use lithium LFP battery technology. The sources I found on efficiency for these types of batteries ranged from 90 to 95%. Okay, so let's do a simple calculation to get an intuition of how much solar panels, wind turbines, and these kinds of batteries would be needed to satisfy the Dutch energy demand. For this calculation, I'm leaving out a lot of details and nuances. The actual numbers will be very different, but I believe it could help create some intuition for what needs to be done between now and 2050, if this is how the Netherlands chooses to get climate neutral. Using the Dutch Central Bureau of Statistics, the annual Dutch energy consumption is around 2000 petajoules. Roughly 140 petajoules came from wind and solar energy, which is about 7.5%. So to get the supply high enough, the Netherlands would need about 13 times as much wind and solar than they currently have. That would be the case if the energy could be used immediately. Looking at how much solar and wind is produced in the Netherlands, we see it fluctuates every day. I'm going to be generous and say one fourth of the time energy from the batteries needs to be used. We had said 13 times as many wind and solar energy, right? Well, with this update, it becomes around 14 times. Now let's talk about how many batteries would be needed. 
For this we need to look at Dunkelflauten events. Tenet is a big electricity network operator in the Netherlands and a big part of Germany. They did a study exploring the future of resource adequacy in a net zero emission Dutch and German energy system. They talk about extended Dunkelflauten events which occur once a decade. With extended they mean 8 days or more. So for my calculation I will say the batteries need to be able to supply the Netherlands for 8 days. In 8 days the Netherlands consumes on average about 44 petajoules of energy. This is equal to about 12,000 gigawatt hours. The Buffalo battery has a capacity of 48 megawatt hours. So you'd need about 250,000 of these batteries. I'm starting to see why nobody is advocating for this plan. How much would this all even cost? At this moment there are around 80 million solar panels. The cheapest I could find was 300 euros per panel. Remember how the Netherlands would need 14 times as much wind and solar energy as they now produce. One of the 14 they already have. So the calculation becomes 300 times 13 times 80 million equals 312 billion euros. There are about 2700 wind turbines that together produce 8831 megawatts. It costs about 1.2 million per megawatt. So 10,597 million euros for what is now operable. Do this times 13 and you get 138 billion euros. Why is nobody stopping me? Somebody stop me please before I get to the batteries. This together is already about 450 billion euros. That's just a bit more than the total amount of money the Dutch government is going to spend in 2024. But we're not done yet are we? I could not find the cost of the Buffalo battery, but I found a battery that costs about 127 euros per kilowatt hour. So the Buffalo battery of 48 megawatt hour could cost about 6 million euros. We needed about 250,000 of these batteries. This would be equal to about 1.5 trillion euros. The Netherlands already has batteries so they don't need to start from scratch but 5 vegan schnitzels on a stick that's a lot of money. In total we're talking about 1.95 trillion euros. If the batteries have to provide the Netherlands for max one day of Dunkelflaute then this sum of money would go down to 636 billion euros. So maybe it is indeed a nice idea to have energy from elsewhere in long periods of Dunkelflaute because it would be much much cheaper and thus more doable. In total we're talking about 636 billion euros. Is it a lot of money though? Think about what we're talking about. To make the entire country of the Netherlands climate neutral by 2050. It might actually be doable. I might have taken an outlier in cheapness for the batteries but consider the following. The Netherlands would have 26 years to achieve this climate neutral goal. All three products, solar, wind, turbines and batteries are getting more efficient and cheaper over time. It's an investment of which over time you get some money back and maybe even profit. Current investors in solar and wind certainly seem to think so. Hypothetically, if the government would invest 15 to 20 billion euros each year and on top of that reinvest the profits they make by selling the energy then it is not implausible the climate neutral the Netherlands could be achieved in this way. But doing so would hinder the Dutch government's wish to have a neutral relationship with the energy market. What they now do is to stimulate entrepreneurs in the development of new sustainable techniques, companies to invest in sustainable energy and all citizens to go over to sustainable sources of energy. In these last calculations I assumed Dunkelflaute lasts a maximum of one day, which is simply not true. So what other source of energy is the best option in these long periods of Dunkelflaute? Green hydrogen gas like the Dutch Green Party suggests? or nuclear energy like most other parties want. Did you notice anything strange about this video? Anything you enjoyed? Do you have any feedback, critique, tips or additional thoughts you would like to share? Please feel free to do so in the comments and I appreciate it a lot if you can share sources to any claims you make. Thank you for watching and see you next time.
，拜拜。